Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will show you how to improve your chess. Let's check this position. Anatoly Karpov is white and I will ask you what do you think is the best move for white in this position. Maybe, maybe we could start um, to ask if white's got advantage, why and where. And of course, white is better. Why? Uh, at least the first point what I see is this pawn on e5, which means that um, white's got space advantage, right? Because of this space advantage, both knights, both black knights are bad pieces. You know, maybe this knight on b7 is the biggest black difficulty because he is not able to go anywhere. And just to go to d6 is very hard because of this pawn. To go to c5 or a5 is hard because of this pawn. And you know, uh, I believe that if one piece is a bad piece, everything is bad. So, yes, uh, let's speak about this position that white's got advantage. Another um, great thing to white is this bishop, you know, because um, black doesn't get um, light squares bishop, our light squares bishop is great. If we have bishops and if you are playing in both things, uh, usually bishop is stronger than knight. That's another advantage why it's good to keep our bishop. But at the other side, uh, if we will give um, black three, four moves, maybe he will escape from these difficulties and our advantage will be gone. So what we have to play and how we have to think if we like to keep our advantage as long as possible. So, okay, I will show what's going on. Maybe white will play move to h1 by his king. Of course, this is not the best move, but I'm trying to show you what's a black's idea. And then um, we could come together to right move. Maybe black now will play move a5. Of course, he will attack our b4 bone. And for example, if we are playing move uh, b5, uh, black will fight against square c5. And he will play move a4. Okay, because we have to move by our knight maybe to d4, we lost control over move c5 and that's exactly what we are not happy to see. Black's knight is not passive on b7, he's on c5 and probably we lost our advantage. So that's not the right way how to play this position. Of course, here uh, it's not a good idea to take this knight because of check on h7 and black will lose his queen. Yes, that's a simple. So now we know what's the main black's plan. Looks like black love to play move a5. So let's speak about this position and what to do and not allowed uh, to black to escape from his difficulties. So maybe we are playing this move. Yes, uh, at the first sight, forever or for now, we stopped to move a5. Unfortunately to us, black has another move and this move is f6. So if black is playing move f6 and we are, we will take, black will take by a rook and I'm not happy because black is active. He's attacking us on f2. His two pawns in the center one day will go forward. And this is a difficult position to us here. This knight should go to d6. So, yes, of course, maybe we are still with small advantage because of this bishop, but I am not happy. I have the feeling that uh, we give a black chance to play this game. So let's come back and let's find the right move. Uh, as I told you, this game was played by great Anatoly Karpov and Anatoly Karpov exactly was thinking like chess master has to think. If we know what our opponent's plans and we know that um, main black's plan is to play a5 or f6, we have to think how to stop black to play these two moves. I know it's not easy. I know it's a difficult, but that's the right way how to play the good chess and 
how to improve our chess. So the right move is uh, to play to g4 by our queen. Why? Of course, I will show these variations. So move a5 is the first plan. We are playing uh, to the. Uh, we are. We have too many options. For example, we should take on a7, and at the end we have more material. Check, check, and we are taking back knight on e7. That's the answer. Maybe why move a5 is not the best move for black. But of course, that's not only one move what we can play. Maybe we are playing uh, by our queen to d4, and I believe that that's absolutely okay to us to play this position because still knight on b7 is out of game. Or um, we are playing move b5, and what's more important. Um, Black has no chance to play a4 move and then to bring his knight to c5. That's a great move how this queen is working on g4. And if you are able to find this move and if you are able to understand how this move is a beautiful chess move, I am sure that you are happy. You are a happy chess player because that's great, great chess move. Okay, uh, okay not a5. But why not to play move f6? Because of move to h4. Uh, why is attacking on h7 and f6? So maybe black will play h6. But you know, watch this light square weaknesses around black's king. This is a really great chance to us to start attack. Or we should play rook to e1 and we found it a new weakness, weakness on e6. Uh, I'm not sure that um, black is happy here. Still, knight on b7 is there. And till this knight will be there, black has a difficulties. So, okay, maybe maybe not f6 immediately, maybe knight to g6, right? We will take on g6 and we are going to d4. Still, black's knight is on b7. Still, black has got difficulties and white keep a nice advantage. That's the, that's the signal that we are a good chess player because we are able to keep our advantage. We know why we have advantage and we know that we have to fight to keep our advantage. So maybe, uh, maybe f5. F5 it was played, but this move doesn't help a lot to black because white went to d4, and for example now uh, white know what black is playing. So my last question, the last black move was knight to d8. He loved to play knight to c6, and I will ask you what do you think that white will play here? Right, it's not really too hard to find the best move to play move b5, and you can see that active prophylaxis thinking is a really important part of our chess game. Just don't allow um, to your opponent to play by his pieces. It's a good idea to keep his passive pieces. Um, bad as long as we can and this is my advice how to improve your chess. Just watch Anatoly Karpov's game, lead them from him and you should be a chess master soon. Okay, we are at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you saw a really interesting chess position with such interesting ideas and you understand that a chess prophylaxis is really the most important or maybe not the most but it's important part of our chess games if yes if you like this video uh, you can press like and press follow and made my day i will be very happy to see you here in our another youtube chess video so thank you very much for your time for your likes and follows and i hope i will see you soon in our another youtube chess video Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.